Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time for Papa Crappy. So it's 12.13, so I am a little bit late. However, we are going to start off by looking at what has just dropped, if anything new. Oh look, we have got a disco ball called Rhinestone Revolution right here. Yay. This is called Rolling with the Brunches. And it's a multi-piece of blue, purples, and silvers. Let's see what else we got here. The flower is still available. Ooh, look, fiercely flowering the Fashion Fix piece from November in gold. Yay. Then we've got the purple piece. Oh, look, we've got a feathery piece. Looks like something may have just sold out because everything we mean. It's called Nest Friends forever. It's got a bunch of feathers. And then we've got the flower garden fashionista with those funky dunky earrings. And look at the necklace. Ooh, it's funky. We've got a guy's piece. We've got, ooh, the Cupid, Chickly Cupid in silver. The formal florals in yellow. We've got a heart coppery ring. Triumph. Triumph for men. Oh look, we finally have a new feather piece. It's called Inner Flight and it's in copper. Then we have a knee house special, Mechanical Mecca. Oh, the awful seed bead earrings. Oh look, the acrylic-y, plasticky, metal-y hearts. Yay. Still poop on the stick. Still got the lips. Lovely, lovely, lovely knot. What's this? Opal Paradise. You can tell I haven't looked for a couple of days. I've honestly been taking a mental health break because uh, I needed one from all of this. And then we've got this Following My Heart. Okay then. But let's take a look at the January Fashion Fix because it's all new. So let's look at Fiercely Fifth Avenue first. So, Fiercely Fifth Avenue Complete Trend Blend. We've got a model with, let's see, everything on. And then we've got, isn't that fabulous? It's Fiercely Fifth Avenue. Then we've got the earrings. Those look like a Z Collection pair of earrings from back in the day. Then we've got a ring. Ooh. Then we've got a bracelet. Ooh. So there's Fiercely Fifth Avenue. Now, I'm going to show off the one that I think is going to sell quickly. And look, it's the same pleather pants. She was the model for, uh, what was it, Modern Musings back in November. So now we've got this gorgeous multi-piece. It's in blues and purples. And then we've got, ooh, look at those pretty earrings. Ooh, look at that bracelet. And ooh, look at that ring. So that's, uh, what is that? Glimpses of, no, that's Sunset Sightings. Now let's take a look at Simply Santa Fe. So Simply Santa Fe, we've got a bracelet, hoops. Let's look at these hoops. Those don't look original. It looks like something they've had in the past. That's going to turn your wrist green. Crackstone Mecca. And let's take a look at this necklace. Ooh, isn't that just gorgeous? Not. All right, let's see what. Oh, let's look at glimpses of Malibu. It's a red piece because, you know, it's January and we have to get ready for February. So we've got this lovely beaded thing. And then we've got. Ooh. And then we've got. Ah, and then we've got, ooh, right there. Even the pictures, they look extremely cheap. Now let's look at magnificent musings. So we've got this gorgeous silver necklace with those gemstone-looking things. Oh, and look, we got a, a stack of bracelets. It's only $5 for each thing. And then a ring, and then those earrings. Ooh, so pretty. 
Now, what's the other one that we haven't looked at? We've looked at that one. We've looked at that one. I think we've looked at all of them. Aren't they just fabulous, you guys? Those fashion fixes, they are absolutely uh, gorgeous. And then let's see. They've got the Valentine's collection. Let's see what's still in Valentine's, shall we? Oh, <laughs> the ribbon necklace that everyone gets in their starter kit in pink. Tea Room Gossip is still available in pink. And then we've got all these lovely, dovely things. Oh my goodness. Just lovely. So that is one of the things that is just absolutely gorgeous. So um, another thing I was looking at is the Franks Shopify website. It's called Shop the Franks and they have this whole shopthefranks.com and it's their uh, paparazzi website. Let me see if I can find it. Franks Divas Shopify Shop Franks $5 jewelry. Okay. Here we go. Now this one is fun. Brittany gets to play model in this one. And there she is showing off all of her gorgeous paparazzi accessories. So uh, by pulling up the collections, they have stuff that's extremely old. So when you go to shop all, you can go shop five, We'll just start with necklaces, okay? And then all necklaces. And then, thankfully, they do have a filter. So you can go to the filter and type in or scroll down. And you can see all these things. Okay, so shop necklace, apply, and then sort by old to new. And then you can apply that. So. I tried looking at this on my tablet and it literally took forever to load these things. So this is Mess with the Bulls. This is the necklace I sent to Savannah Marie in rose gold. Here it is in brass and copper. Some of these pictures are so old that they had to pull them off of um, really old websites. But as you can see, they have so much inventory that it takes forever for these things to load. Here's the famous acrylic pieces that were really popular when I was a paparazzi consultant. Then we've got the textured tigress. Oh, this, this feather piece, the light flight in silver. I got that in gold in my starter kit and it never sold. And then we've got the deluxe white necklace. Again, that was something I got from a box of somebody that was a paparazzi, paparazzi consultant long before I was and she had quit. This was in the box of stuff that she couldn't sell that I purchased from her to put on my website to help her get rid of it. Then we have the I Will Fly necklaces. Here's the Summer Sunbeam. I had that in yellow, pink, orange, and green. Here's another piece that sat in my inventory forever. Leafy Lagoon in copper. The fringy pieces. Oh, these were the hot uh, Valentine piece when I was a consultant, and it came out in like every color. Love is all around in brown. There it is in silver. Grand Canyon Grotto in orange. Now it's waiting to load the rest of this stuff because, like I said, they have so much inventory on their website from years and years ago that it takes forever for this stuff to load. Okay, there's Circus Couture brass, the guest list, T uh, Terra Tranquility, my sister loved this necklace, she still wears it, uh, the Trending Tropicana in green, Ritz all around, Stiletto, that you could easily double up, oh look, Summer Sunbeam in blue. So as you can see, as we go down, some of these things have been re-released, they're not new, They've just re-released them to newer consultants. But if you want to see some of the old stuff that paparazzi used to have, 
hit up Frank's Divas website um, and look at the stuff from back in the day. And as you can see, some of these items have just been reconfigured and they're selling them with a little bit of a different look. But yeah, Spring Daydream Multi in orange and pink. And then we've got the seed beads and the new Discovery that came all tarnished, got a lock on it in silver. They had those in every rhinestone color. I do remember that. The Fiercely Pharaoh in multi. So that's the whole reason I'm showing this website is so you guys can see the stuff that is not new and that they are re-releasing. I had this particular party princess piece. It was uh, black pearls instead of white. But, ugh, I'm just looking at, I still have Fiercely Fall in Black, and they re-released that, like, sometime last year. Main Street Mechanics, I own that. Stop, Teardrop, Roll Black, okay. The Layered Necklaces. That is a blockbuster, so it's not new. Those ones took forever to get out of my store because it was a plastic teardrop. It was so cheap. When in Rome, that was a fashion fix piece, but they fashion fixed it in green. There's the one I'm talking about in gold and black and white, but they call it multi. Step into the spotlight, brass and pink. Those were also releases when I was a consultant. We're getting into the stuff that released when I was active. This uh, shine time copper necklace. Oh look, the ribbon in black. That was cute. Spring sophistication in pink was cute. It was dainty. It was not gaudy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to find the piece that the seed bead, the rice bead on it, turns my neck an awful color when I see it. I'll stop. But here's another one. The acrylic chain. Dollar store quality right there. Those chains would break so fast. Oh, another spring dream. More acrylics. Even more acrylics. Oh look, this is a fashion fix piece from when I was an active consultant. Oh, this one was a popular one when I was a consultant. This one was in rose gold. I actually like that because it was dainty. It wasn't in your face gaudy. And, oh, silver, or golden spell instead of silver spell. Another copper piece. That one turned my neck green. Street Regal. That one turned my neck kind of a black color. That one I still wear. This one I liked. Perfectly polished, but it broke. And there was no way to fix it. Oh, I'm guessing that my Amazon order is here. Alexa's going to pop up any second and tell me that it's here. This is the piece that I still wear to this day. I still own it. However, I lost one of the earrings in Las Vegas. It's called Circus Chick Multi. You guys have seen me wear it. Industrial Intensity in Black. I have that in silver. This is one of those things. Mm. And the keys are coming back. I noticed a key came back the other day. Color Bomb Silver. I had that in every color in my store. Oh, the nautical Naples knot thing. Another choker, I guess. Choker? I hardly knew her. You ch choker, I hardly knew her. Thanks, honey, for bringing that up. I love my husband. <laughs> Here's another one that I bought when I was buying from a friend of mine. I actually like this piece because, again, it's very lightweight. I lost that earring in Amsterdam. This one I still have. It's a multicolored one. Ooh, look at lanyard. Ooh. This is one of the pieces I had tested. Triple trifecta. And then we've got this one, Metro Mandis in black. They also came out in several other colors, Starlet Socials. This one was a popular piece when I had it in black and silver. Copper didn't sell too well. 
Now we're getting into moonstone pieces because those moonstone pieces were popular. Here's the piece. This necklace right here. Every time I wear this, it turns my neck blackish silver. The seed bead coloring uh, rubs off onto my neck. And then we've got the daytime drama. I had that in blue, pink, purple, and yellow. Never sold. Oh, look, there's a blue one. There's Mess with the Bulls in Silver. As you can see, if you just go through, you can see all of this stuff. Now, this was one of the 4th of July pieces because of the uh, Home of the Free because of the Brave. I had a friend who was in the military and a paparazzi consultant, and she refused to buy or sell that piece because dog tags are very important in the military, and she felt that it was a little blasphemous. I have this one in gunmetal. There's another one that I was talking about. But, oh, look, soon to be missed. They've been re-repeating that. That's not new. Uh, glowest of the glow in silver. That piece is actually a knockoff of a Park Lane jewelry piece that came out in gunmetal. The only reason I know that is because uh, when I was still living in Utah, I had a friend uh, who had Park Lane parties, like, all the time. And I bought that one. That one was really cute. I like the teardrop fashion, but I have it in rose, rose gold. That piece never sold. Boldly Bronx in gold, gunmetal in silver, never sold, ever. But this brings back throwbacks to the day when I was in paparazzi. The Friends in Globe Places, the Moonstone pieces, they were one of my most popular pieces on my live shows and in my store. Moonstone was a popular seller in my store. Yes, Alexa, we know you can cancel the notification. This one was another one that was really popular in my store because it had a tulip outline in it. Never sold. That sold out. Never sold. Never sold never sold. That one, the gemstones would fall out of it. That was a popular piece as well. So this one would tarnish like right away. But if you want to find vintage paparazzi, this is where you go to find it. Go to Frank's Divas and look at all the stuff that they have from years and years ago because they've been in the business forever. And like I said the other day, if you haven't sold two-thirds of your inventory, how are you qualified to lead? And I agree with my husband on that. Oh my gosh. I hated these. They were so goddamn heavy. The very Valentine necklaces, so heavy. Oh, and then totally Tonga. And then this thing, heavy as hell. Oh, this, they said it was green, but it looked more like a chartreuse yellow. So it was deceiving. How are you going to sell that with this terrible photo? I ask you. Because as you can see, a lot of the pictures they have are very fuzzy or faded because they didn't download the picture when they got the item, so they had to go and do a Google image search to find them so they could load these items to their website in hopes of selling them. This was another piece that was supposed to be really popular. Misty did a sneak peeks with Misty. Never sold. A lot of these, they just, they never sold. Oh, this was a fashion fix piece, those ice princessy pieces. And they came out in like a purple little tight. Oh, look, here's the Savannah Surfin. That came out in like Tiffany blue and a coral orange. And then the I Will Fly in pink. Ride is Rainforest necklace, another rice bead or seed bead, if you want to call it that. But, oh, those, those gleaming gardens, they didn't sell either. Now we're getting into stuff that came out shortly before I quit or right after I quit. And it's, it's awful. Oh, look, Leafy Lagoons and Brass. That one was another one that came out. That was a Valentine's piece right before I quit. During those double hostess rewards where you had to get, oh, the broom. Blockbuster pieces. And you would think they could get a better picture of the model wearing it because it's a blockbuster piece and you can download it from the paparazzi website. But, you know, what do I know? Apparently not enough. 
but this is actually loading, but you can go down for eons, years, years and years of paparazzi accessories. That one was a popular piece to the walking the plank pieces, but years. Oh, look, we have the cork. Remember when cork was really popular? Um, I believe it was last year. That was a fashion fix piece, I think. I'm not 100% because this, all of this that I'm looking at now is after I quit and stopped paying attention. But, again, how is any of this original? And how is Misty designing all this? I mean, she has to be designing 24-7 to come out with all of this stuff. So, I am guaranteeing you that Misty is not designing any of this crap. Okay, she's just shopping me how this was a popular piece this tie-dye drama multi necklace that was I believe a fashion fix oh yeah it was it was a fashion fix piece that came out when my friend Annie was still active she got a ton of them she's still stuck with them but yeah as you keep going down you see all the mistakes that we made as active paparazzi consultants there's another uh, be heard necklace or lanyard. Again, the lanyards break if you hang anything significantly heavy on them. That was a sandstone. Uh, this this piece was a fashion fix piece in blue. I sent that to Savannah Marie. She put it on in one of her videos. But yeah, how, how, how is any of this original? It's just different versions of the same shit. And I'm sorry, who in their right mind would wear that? Not me. It's not my style. This one's kind of cute, but again, not going to buy it, not going to wear it, not going to support the MLM platform. So I'm going to give a shout out to somebody that um, has broken free of paparazzi and she has started her own uh, web store. Her name is uh, Booyah. So if you type in Booyah Boutique, she has a lot of really cute stuff, $5.95, and the rings are not stretchy, so you have to know your ring size in order to buy a ring from her store, but trust me, it's worth it. I'm looking forward to getting some of the stuff I, I recently ordered from her, but, you know, shout out to that. And shout out to all of the consultants who have recently quit the paparazzi uh, accessories family and they are looking for new families and now I'm going to segue into the family dynamic of multi-level marketing companies. So when I was a member of Paparazzi, um, my team, I got to know a lot of the girls really well. I didn't realize how transparently fake those relationships were until I left. There are only two people that were on my team that I still communicate with to this day. And they are both amazing women who have taken um, their mistakes, owned up to them, and moved on. And one was a very success successful funeral director. She owned a funeral home. And she sold it um, when COVID was at an all-time high and people were dying left and right. This was before the vaccine. And I can understand why she got burned out because that's an exhausting business and it's really hard when when you're dealing with death at that magnitude. So I can understand why someone would want to quit that. So I, I don't blame her one bit. My other friend, she is a single mom, you know, trying to navigate love and and you know, she's working a new job and she's doing great at it and I'm really excited for her. She used to work for the state and now she doesn't. I love this piece. I still wear it. Um, but yeah. So here's what's going on with me. I have been going through the process of um, joining the ranks of the Department of Homeland Security and I have been extremely busy studying for my my assessment exams and uh, as soon as I get that test passed, then I will continue with uh, the onboarding process. And when that happens, I will most likely be going down to Georgia 
for two to three weeks to complete the training. So my channel will be taking a, a brief hiatus when that happens. That's cute, but again, not worth it. That must have been a fashion fix, fix piece of like Fiercely Fifth Avenue or something. So it's hard when you leave something and, and those people that you thought were your friends, they stop talking to you. But guess what? You can find another family, you can find another uh, community, but mostly you got to find the community that's close to you that you're close to as well. So I'm focusing on my relationships with my family, my personal family, and my husband, and, you know, Lily. In fact, I took her to play ball right before we got started today because she loves that. That's her favorite thing to do in the whole world. That's cute, but um, maybe not. So anyway, it's only $5, and I guarantee you all of this stuff is being stored in their garage, and I hope like hell they have enough um, moisture wicking stuff in the air because one of the necklaces that somebody sent me was so badly tarnished um, that it was worthless. I couldn't sell it because it was so terribly tarnished. And that was mind-boggling to me that she hadn't even taken it out of the package and it was already discoloring. So the quality of paparazzi has definitely gone downhill. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. There's Papa Crappy and Fashion Fix for today. Uh, if there's anything you want me to discuss on the channel, Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what topics you're interested in my opinions on. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed Papa Crappy and looking at some really old, old Papa shit. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. Talk to you later. Oh, and by the way, here's my new sign-off. Trying to keep it classy while also being sassy. <laughs>